What's up guys, Adam Saxon, AKA Guy in a Cube, and I hope you're having an awesome Thursday. We've got some roundup items, so let's dig in. First up is a blog post from Reserad where he looks at query folding inside of Power Query or Power BI Desktop. If you're not familiar with what query folding is, it's basically when you've got a bunch of items in an M syntax, and we smash all those together and issue a single statement to your data source to limit the amount of work that's done on the client side. Sometimes things that you do inside of Power Query or Power BI Desktop can break query folding itself, which ends up putting a lot of the strain on Power Query or Power BI Desktop itself. So Reza does a great job of going through really what this is and things that you do that can cause adverse performance impact and how you can avoid breaking query folding or whether or not you even care about it. So be sure to check a look at this blog post to understand more about query folding. Next up is a blog post from Chris Webb from Across the Pond where he looks at using Microsoft Flow or calling Microsoft Flow from inside of Power Query or Power BI Desktop. If you're not familiar with Microsoft Flow, it is basically a way that you can create workflows that do certain operations. And so the example that he uses in his blog post is if you want to call a flow to actually translate some text to another language and then re return that back to Power Query or Power BI Desktop. This is a pretty neat way of using Microsoft Flow. So this may be useful for you if you want to do external operations, but use Power BI to accomplish that. So be sure to check out this blog post if that piques your interest. Next up is a blog post from Bill Anton where he looks at analysis services. And one of the announcements that we had this week with Service Pack 1 is the ability to scale analysis services tabular instances using NUMA. So some of the history here is that analysis services traditionally has only used one NUMA node on a big, large box. And so we've never been able to take advantage of multiple NUMA nodes to help scale analysis services effectively. SQL Server has been doing this for a very long time, but analysis services hasn't had this ability. It's been one of the drawbacks in terms of scalability of the product itself. And so with Service Pack 1 for SQL Server 2016, you now have the ability to scale across multiple NUMA nodes. So that's awesome. We can now scale. I know this has been an item that a lot of people have wanted and asked for, and it's there now. So be sure to upgrade to Service Pack 1 for SQL Server 2016. Continuing on with SQL 2016 Service Pack 1 news, we've got some items for reporting services as well. So with reporting services, Service Pack 1, we now have the ability to use list views inside of the web portal. So we used to have this, uh, we had this functionality in the old report manager, but when 2016 was first released, this wasn't available in the web portal. It is now. So if you want to use it as a list view instead of using the normal tiles, that's something you can do inside of Service Pack 1. We also added enhanced context menus. So previously you had to click through a bunch of items to get where you wanted to be. And now in the context menus, when you go to those items, you'll have a lot more options available to you. So hopefully we'll limit the number of clicks that you have to do. Also in Service Pack 1 is for the execution log, the ability to see mobile reports and those executions that happen within the instance. When 2016 was first launched, this wasn't available. We got some comments about people saying, hey, I wanna know what reports are being executed from a mobile report perspective. I don't see that. Now you can in Service Pack 1. And the last big update for reporting services is that inside of KPIs, you can now use custom URLs as click-through actions. So when you go and select a custom URL, put any URL in there, when they click on that KPI, it's gonna take them to whatever that URL is. So instead of just a report item inside of reporting services, it can go anywhere. So be sure to upgrade to Service Pack 1 for 2016 to take advantage of all of these items. Another big announcement this week was CTP1 for SQL Server vNext. So this is available now for you to download. There weren't a lot of big updates or information regarding BI features inside of this as compared to 2016. So when we looked at previously the ability to use Power BI reports inside of reporting services, that's not there yet. But one of the big things that is there is you can actually install SQL Server on Linux. That's part of CTP1. So that's available for you if you're interested on the Linux front. There were also a bunch of updates for the SQL Server database engine as well as SSIS, 
But stay tuned for more updates as we get more CTPs on the BI front. As always, the links for all the items I talked about along with bonus items are down in the description below. Let me know what was your favorite item as well as are you excited about NUMA support in analysis services or SQL on Linux? Let me know that down in the comments below as well. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. Thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.